Hello everybody, uh, my name is Avery, and today I wanted to look at the Pi game Python library. It's a open source library, it's a cross-platform as well, it uses SDL, and it's for creating games using Python. So it has a lot of functions just for setting up your window, um, drawing and textures, and keyboard input, everything that you need for a simple game. There's another YouTuber, his name is uh, the Fluffy Potato. He makes videos and tutorials showing how to use Pygame. So if you guys are interested from learning more and more about it, I would check out his channel for sure. Um, there's a lot of other tutorials out there as well. Uh, Pygame is pretty simple. There's a lot of documentation for it. But uh, yeah, it's basically if you want to ever learn how to make a game in Python, Pygame is the way to go. I just wanted to quickly show how simple it is. So we're just going to install it. I use pip3. You can just use pip. And install Pygame. I already have mine installed, so it should just take a second. Already satisfied. Now let's just make a directory. Um, I'll just call it Pygame. And we'll just do it. We'll move into that directory. And now let's open up your text editor of choice. I assume most people are going to use VS Code. And you just need to import Pygame, just like this. I'll save this as game dot pi game game dot pi. There it is. So we're importing pi game, and then once you do that, you'll just want to do pi game dot init, just like that, and that initializes everything. Now we want to create our window and set the size and set the title. To do that, you can do pi game dot display dot set caption. So this is setting the title, and we'll do new game window just like that and then we'll create a screen the screen is going to be used in creating the window basically and it's also going to be what you could render to so pi game dot display dot set model here's the width and the height so just like that and we'll set up a our game loop we'll just do running equals true we'll do while running and so that's going to be in our game loop. And then outside the game loop, we'll do pygame.quit. And that'll just quit everything. And here we can do an event checker for the keyboard. So I'm going to do event in pygame.event.get. And then if the event type equals pygame.quit, then we'll just set running to false. Just like that. And here we can update the screen. You can just do screen fill. And you want to pass in RGB value. So it's going to be 255, um, 255, and 0. And then right here, you can go ahead and actually do your rendering stuff. If you look through the documentation, there's a lot of examples on how to do things. You can look at draw, which is what we're using. So you can do pygame.draw.circle. This will draw the circle. So we pass in our screen. And then we we'll want to pass in the color, so let's make a blue circle. And we we'll want to pass in the location, so you can just do 250, 250. And we'll set the radius as well. Do the same thing for drawing a rectangle, just draw a rect. And we'll pass in the screen. And then we we'll want to set in the color, 25, 0. That'll be red. And then we we'll want to create a rectangle. So it's going to be the location to the rectangle and the size of the rectangle. Just like that. And now to display it, we'll do pygame display dot flip. So flip pushes anything that's on the screen to the window basically. And in case you have an image or something and you want to push that image to your screen, you'll use a function called blip. But uh, just for this short tutorial, we're using flip. So I'll save that. So once again, we're importing the game, pygame, we're initializing it, we're setting the caption. What the caption is going to be title up here and the display size. We're looping through the events to get the keyboard events. We're checking for quit. We're filling in the screen. This will fill in the background. We're drawing a circle and a rectangle. And then we're pushing it to the screen. So we can just run this right here. Python. I'm running Python 3.10. But uh, this will work with basically everything. So let's do game.py. There it is. And here set model that should be set mode okay just run it one more time here we go 
Let me just move this over. So you can see it fills in the screen using 255 red and green, which makes this yellow color. And we're drawing in this circle of blue, second 250, 250, which is in the middle, a 500, 75 radius, and then the rectangle is red, and at the location is 5100, and the size is 100 by 100. So it's as simple as that. Um, say you wanted to uh, make it a game, make Pong or something, you can just draw a circle for the ball, two rectangles, position them, and then in your event, you'll just want to set up some controls to make your paddle go up and down. And then just right here, you would just want to do um, sort of collision detection um, to see if the ball hits a paddle for it to bounce back, see if it hits the wall to give it a score, and to, um, I guess, just have uh, some ball movement, basically. And But yeah, it's as simple as that. Pi game is really simple to set up, really simple to get into. It's cross-platform once again. Uh, so you really just do pip install Pi game and you've got it. And if you guys are interested in more Pi game stuff, I'll probably release things in the future. So feel free to subscribe and also check out the Fluffy Potatoes channel. And thanks again for watching and see you guys again next time. Bye.